Welcome to the second refactoring. In this video, you're going to learn how to use two further refactorings. The introduce field refactoring to refactor parcel data file DIR from the handle method to be a class level variable or class level field and the introduce variable refactoring to convert the duplicate calls to sprintf into a new variable called parcel data file name. Let's begin. Have a look at the value of parcel data file dir here. This variable, or the contents of it, points to the results directory inside the data directory which is in the project's root. If we navigate to that directory, we can see that it contains a number of JSON files which are named after the parcel ID for which they hold data. Now I'll skip a discussion about whether results is an appropriately intuitive directory name. What I'll focus on here is parcel data files scope. Does method level scope make the most sense? It does now as there's only one method in the class. However, what if there were future methods that needed access to the directory path as well? Would it not make sense for the variable to have class level scope by us making it a class member variable? Well, let's do that now by refactoring it using the introduce field refactoring. Now notice that PHP Storm presents us with two choices. The second one, interestingly enough, would create a new local variable, as I'll do here just for an example, and assigns parcel data file dir to it. I think you'll agree this isn't what we want to do. So I'll just quickly back out of that and I'll start the refactor again. Now the first option is what we want to use because it refactors the variable as a class level variable and doesn't create a new local variable in the process. Now what it also does is update all references to the original variable to refer to the new class level variable, which saves us the effort of doing so. I'll just complete the refactor and you can see here at the top of the class that the new variable has been created. And note that it's been set by default with private level visibility. Now, if you're wondering where this comes from, this is set here in properties default visibility in the code generation tab, which you'll find under editor code style PHP. We could change that to protected or we could change it to public, but at least in my case, private is the right choice. So I'm going to leave it to that and close the settings dialog. Now there's one last thing to do before we complete this refactor. And that is that I'm going to specify parcel data file DIR as a string. Now we don't have to, but I'm using PHP 7.4 for this project and I personally prefer strong typing when and wherever possible. Next, let's get rid of the duplicate calls to sprintf in the body of the handle method, which could easily lead to some unnecessary debugging frustration in the future by replacing them with a new variable called parcel data file name. And to do that, we'll use the introduce variable refactoring. I'll select the entire first call to sprintf so that PHP Storm knows exactly what to use to initialize the variable and then I'll start the refactor. Now that I've started it, you can see that I'm asked whether I want to replace just this occurrence or whether I want to replace all two occurrences. As we're replacing all of them, I'll choose replace all two occurrences. Because of that choice, each occurrence of the call to sprintf is highlighted and I find that yet another extremely handy visual confirmation of what we're about to do. Now, when I confirm that choice, a new variable called file name has been created and PHP Storm has started a rename refactor, just like we saw in the previous video. Now, if I was happy with that variable name choice, then I could press escape at this point to cancel the rename and the refactor would be completed. However, the generated name isn't completely suitable. So instead, let's have that selected and rename it to parcel data file name instead. As we do that, it's handy to see the usages of the variable being renamed at the same time. And with that done, let's make the code just that little bit tidier while we're here by putting the call to file get contents all on one line. Okay, now that we've completed the refactorings, let's quickly recap what was covered. We use the introduce field refactoring to refactor parcel data file dir from being a local variable in the handle method to being a class level variable or field and the introduce variable refactoring to refactor the duplicate calls to sprintf 
into a new variable called parcel data file name. In the next video, we're going to use the introduce method refactoring to refactor the parcel ID is null check and the parcel data file name file exists check to dedicated methods. I'll see you then.